now have with us Mr. Samed Abdel Samad, teacher at American Academy School. It's a pleasure to be with you. I want to start off by how you feel teaching has changed during COVID-19. Well, actually, uh, going from physically being in class to a virtual class was quite challenging. Not to mention that we had to cope as teachers, you know, to a totally new experience of teaching in such a short time. So we didn't have much time to, to adapt. Uh, teaching from a distance or online teaching elevated the teaching. That's from my point of view. It elevated the teaching process because usually the new generation are so into computers and mobiles and softwares and applications and stuff like that. So teaching from a distance just elevated the teaching process to that level as in we are now under the microscope. Everybody is interested about it and especially how am I going to get an education in this time and through online uh, channels. As teachers, we prepare our lessons as always with few additions of course as PowerPoint presentation uh, with recorded voice clips, YouTube videos that we include also and upload to certain platforms and many other digital illustrations to uh, ensure the smooth and fun delivery of a lesson. And uh, just going back you touched on kids being into technology and computers and always on yes. their phones. How have students been responding to these online lessons? Do you feel like they're learning the same way that they did in terms of retaining the information as the classroom or do you feel like you have to maybe work a little bit harder for them to grasp new concepts and new ideas? Well, actually, talking about something that could be an obstacle. So the biggest obstacle, in my view, was also an important opportunity to enrich my digital experience and my own, you know, library and repertoire in that with educational videos and to get in touch with that. As long as I benefited from it, so a lot of others did as well. So even if the kids are into these things, we can redirect their interest into more educational games, into the becoming... Uh, let's say more interested in getting a better education they're always interested in getting a better education but when you uh, make them choose between going to the books or hitting the books and studying hard and cramming and do you have exams and tests, all that doesn't have any appeal against of course a video game now that teaching has reached the level where we have to deal with it online and we have to include technology in all that all of this is going to come back to us in the in the best way possible if we direct it as a teacher you would say that the distance learning or, or the the increased use of technology has helped in the classroom instead of hindered your efforts yes yeah, for me, two things that I took from this opportunity, actually. First, I flexed my digital muscles, as you might say, and I practiced my skills in technological communication, uh, keeping track of, uh, of all my documents I have created for my class and for myself. Uh, the second thing that I took from that is on a personal level, I learned a lot about how to create educational videos. I sent the link to my students and they were very happy with it. It was very concise and precise and very clear. They loved that. The flip side of that could be, you know, students have been distance learning for a few months now. And now that they're going back to the classroom, what challenges do you predict they'll face uh, going back to school? Uh, uh, that has been on my mind for some time now. Actually, the most difficult for a kid is to be cooped up inside. And no matter what the age of the kid, they always need more space and they want to go out and they want to do activities, things like that. So after a long you know, period of being inside the house and they are let out to the school, the most concerned is they might ignore the security and safety measurement. They haven't seen their friends in a long time. They haven't seen their favorite teachers in a long time. They might become so close to each other that we are trying to so hard. We have been trying so hard in the media and uh, as teachers and everyone in their place. That's the main concern. This will be actually a very important challenge in them being aware of the safety measures and applying them. Samir Abdul Samad, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you. In focus.